Hello children, Patanjali Rishikul, class 8. I welcome you all to this science session. So far, you have studied about the different types of forces. Today, we are going to learn about one of the contact forces that occur in nature. Yes, it is force of friction. By the end of this video, we will learn about what is friction? What are the causes of friction? Types of friction? And how to measure friction? So let's start. When you kick the ball, you apply force and the ball starts moving. But after some time, does the ball come to a halt? Yes. The ball stops due to the frictional force acting between the ball and the ground. Why do you slip when you step on a banana peel? Or when you apply brakes on your bicycle, it slows down. What is the reason behind all these things? The answer to all these questions is friction. What is friction? Friction is a natural force that resists the relative motion of two surfaces in contact. It is always exerted in the direction that opposes motion. It, it can transform energy of a moving body into heat energy and sound energy. Like for example, when you rub your palms, what do you feel? You can feel the warmth. The heat is produced. Or if you want to light a matchstick, what do you do? You rub its head on the rough side of the matchbox. What happens then? Some heat is generated and the combustible material on the matchstick's head starts to burn. All these are the various examples that prove that friction can transform energy of a moving body into heat energy and sound energy. Let us see this picture. In this picture, you can see a man pulling the almira. The friction acting between the base of an almira and the floor prevents it from moving. To overcome this friction, a large force is to be applied to make it move. We can say that friction is a force that slows down motion and dampens the energy. Now, let us discuss the various causes of friction. What are the causes of friction? Friction is caused due to irregularities of two surfaces in contact. This irregularity or roughness of the surface depends on the nature of its material. Also, the more be the irregularity, the more interlocking is there and hence the greater is the friction. Friction is also caused due to the force of attraction between molecules of different kinds. This is called as adhesion or adhesive force. According to Ron Kurtos, adhesion is the essence of friction. There are some materials which are called good adhesives. For example, fevicol, glue. These adhesives offer a large amount of friction. Now, let us discuss about the various types of friction. The various types of friction are static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction. Now, what is static friction? The friction between two solid objects that are not moving relative to each other is called as static friction. No actual movement is observed in static friction and static friction is always equal to the force applied. It ends with the beginning of sliding of the object at rest. 
Next is the sliding friction. The frictional force present when one body slides over another body is known as sliding friction. Once the body slides, the sliding friction is reduced a little which is less than the static friction. So we can say that sliding friction is always less than the static friction. Have you ever felt it has become so easy to pull the luggage when we have the rollers? Yes, definitely. The rollers reduce the friction and help the body move very easily. Rolling friction comes into play when two parts which roll over each other. It is always less than the sliding friction. This was all about the various types of friction, force. Next, how to measure friction. An approximate measurement of friction can be made by using a spring balance. We can use a spring balance to measure the frictional force. A spring balance it consists of a spring having a movable pointer that is attached to it. The pointer moves over a scale according to the force applied on the spring and measures the corresponding stretch of the string. Right? I hope you have understood the topics discussed today. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, take good care of yourself. Thank you.